before I'll be the one calling out the words. Um, but first, I want to welcome you on behalf of the Marlboro County School District Department of Curriculum Instruction and Assessment. We would not be here tonight with the, without the vision, the hard work, and the support of those folks. So I'd like to thank them for giving us the opportunity to host our county spelling bee here this year. Two other folks who were important to tonight's event and much more entertaining than I are Elijah Blair, the ninth grade student and veteran MC. Um, he's a ninth grade student at Marlboro County High School. And then Angela Branton, who is uh, Teacher of the Year for Marlboro County mm -hmm. School District, chosen one for peers, which is quite an honor. So they're going to be your MCs. Please join me now in welcoming them to the stage. Good evening, and welcome to the Marlboro County School District Spelling Bee. We are your MCs for this evening. I am Elijah Blair, ninth grade student at Marlboro County High School. And I am Angela Brandon, teacher of the year for Word, give a definition for the word, 
or provide the word's language of origin. The speller must provide capital letters or hyphens if the spelling contains either. When the speller misses a word, he or she is going to sit down with the other students. If the, if the speller gets the word correct, um, they're going to hear, do you guys want to? I'm going to hear a So that's going to let me know that the word is, has been correctly spelled. If you don't hear it, then that means that it's your turn to have a seat. The judges will uphold the rules and determine whether or not words are spelled correctly. There's going to be a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and an eighth grade winner, and then we're going to have an overall winner, which comes from the final round. If all spellers in a round misspell, all remain in the competition, and a new round begins. Tiebreakers for grade level winners may need to occur. Spellers must remain in the same order throughout the competition. If only one speller spells correctly in a round, a new one word round begins, and the speller is given the opportunity to spell the next word on the list. If the speller succeeds, he or she is named the champion of the spelling. And this is very important. If a speller misspells the anticipated championship word, a new round begins with all spellers who spelled correctly and incorrectly in the previous round. Remember, spellers may, be, may ask the pronouncer to repeat the word at least twice, so misunderstanding the pronouncer shouldn't be an issue. Okay? Just ask again. Repeat it again. Okay? All right, so those are our rules. We have spellers from Blenheim, Playa, and McCall representing tonight. They have um, drawn numbers to determine their order, so that's how it was decided that you may not see them in numerical order, but they um, have drawn the numbers to determine what order they're going to be in. Tanea David is from Blenheim, Darian Stanton is from Playa, and Madison Moodle from McCall. Hey, you ready? Can you get started? Okay, remember we have a, a practice round first. So today you are up first. Turn this around a little bit. Okay, for our practice round today, your word is over. Now, Joe, this is what 
the um, green paper. Diploma. Diploma. D I P L O M A. Diploma. Absurd. Sure, the word is absurd. Victorian. Victorian. V I C T O R I A N. Victorian. Your word is dispel. Dispel. D I S P E L. Dispel. Your word is coffee. Coffee. C O L L E. Tanea. And just to be clear, if Tanea gets this word correct, then it, this segment of the competition is over. If she does not, then we will have another round another round of the Tanea, your word is tarnish. Tarnish. T-A-R-N-I-S-H. Tarnish. Wow, this is already getting nerve wracking. Thank you, fifth graders. We can tell that these students have worked really hard. Next, we'll have our sixth grade round. Would these students please come forward? Today, we'll see you in the final round. While the sixth graders are coming forward, I have some interesting facts to share about our judges. First, Ms. Margaret Quick, you please stand so that you can see this for Ms. Margaret Quick is the Parenting Family Literacy Coordinator for Marlowe County School District. She's held this position since October 2012. She is also a native of Venezuela, South Carolina, and a graduate of Marlowe County High School. She has two very active and energetic boys, Reginald, age 11, and Bronson, age 6. She describes herself as being a creative, welcoming, and optimistic person who thrives on learning and experiencing new things. Her motivational drive comes from her own desires to be an asset to the community and from various experiences through her professional career and personal experience. And she can also drive an 18 month truck. Get that girl! <laughs> Alright, I think our spell is already. But first, Ms. Brandon, I have a question for you. What insect can be spelled with just one letter? Of course you are, man. Oh, it's B. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just let these six graders do the spelling. I Okay, six graders. You ready? I see some familiar faces. Um, with the six graders here, we have Donovan Murphy from Playa. Hannah Moody from a call and Uni Hall from School of Discovery. All right, Donovan, remember we're going to start with the practice round first. Your word is little. Little. L I T T L E. Little. Your word is work. Work. W O R K. Work. Your word is place. 
see. Your word is tranquil. Tranquil. T R A N Q U I L. Tranquil. And remain at the mic for our next turn. <coughs> Your word is commandeer. Commandeer. C O M M A N D E E R. Commandeer. Can you 
spell mousetrap and just three letters?
Your word is patrician. Patrician. P A T R I C I A N. Patrician.
have supported us financially, not just this year, but in years past. And they're just a phone call away anytime we need them. And they've, they've been here in the past and they said how impressed they are with our students and with our staff and what we're doing, and that they wanted to continue to support with monetary donations. So Mr. Sully Blair of State Farm Insurance and Representative Doug Jennings, um, who is an attorney here in town, both of these gentlemen have stepped up and both donated $100 this year to provide the prize money for our winners. The first place winner gets $100. And she will be your new best friend tonight. <laughs> Second place winner will have $50, and then the third and fourth will each receive $25. So if you see these gentlemen in the community, please join me in thanking them. It's because of their generosity that we're able to offer a little bit more incentives. Thank you to State Farm Insurance Sully Lear and Representative Doug James. Now, for our final round, the contestants in this round are Tanea David of Helena, Uni Young of School of Discovery, Trinity Townsend Quick of School of Discovery, and Hadia Atkinson of Helena. The two Helena and two School of Discovery. The Battle of the Schools. You ready? I think you are. I was, I was taking a minute to explain to them how this is going to work. What we're going to do is go back to the list and begin um, this list that I'm calling from. It's not something that I created. Uh, it's something that's generated by the spelling bee folks, the national spelling bee folks, and the words on the list are words that they receive copies of when they completed their school spelling days in, in November or December. I think most of them were in December. So they are familiar with the words, but we're going to start with the words on the fifth grade list that we did not finish. So judges, we should be at the bottom of page 25. And if we skip a page, judges, I'll let you know where we are. We're going to be on word 107 at the bottom of page 25. That's where we need to start. We have a fifth grade leading, leading us off, so today of David. Because we practiced once, we're not going to practice again this time. We're going to just head right in there. Ready? Okay, today. Your word is tarnish. Tarnish. T A R N I S H. Tarnish. Splurge. Splurge. S P L U R G E. Splurge. Your word is variety. Variety. V A R I E T Y. Variety. This word has a near homonym. Hodgepodge. Hodgepodge. H O D G E. P O D G E. Hodgepodge. <coughs> Superlative. Can you repeat that? Yes, your word is superlative. Superlative? Superlative. S U P R I L A T I V E. Your word is prowess. Can you say that again? Sure. Your word is prowess. 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 Oh, prowess. Prowess. P R O W E S S. Prowess. Your word is soprano. Soprano. S P R A N O. Soprano. Your word is dwarf. 
Could you repeat it? Yes, this word could be confused with a similar <coughs> word. Your word is warp, and I'll tell you the part of speech, which is a noun, and the definition is a structure built at the water shore so that ships can load and unload cargo and passengers. Your word is lavender. Lavender. L-A-V-E-N-D-E-R. Lavender. <coughs> mirthful. Could you repeat it? Sure. Your word is mirthful. Mirthful. M-I-R-T-H-F-U-L. Mirthful. Squander. 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 Definition. Sure. The definition is to spend extravagantly or foolishly, throw away, squander. S Q U A N D O R. Your word is chemistry. Chemistry. C H E M I S T R Y. Chemistry. The same for another one. Your word is diagonal. Diagonal. D I A G O N A L. Diagonal. Congratulations. Good evening. Uh, I'd just like to say I'm absolutely thrilled this evening with all of our spellers. Uh, you've done an excellent job. And uh, the only thing I can say about, <laughs> about our five of us up here, I'm going to have to say we're going to have to encourage our boys <laughs> and our young men because we have all young ladies up here this evening. But I'm proud of all of our students. And parents, I just want to say to you, thank you so much for everything you've done to encourage our babies to continue to work hard. And in addition to that, I want to thank our parents because parents, uh, excuse me, teachers, um, that's the other side. Our teachers have done an excellent job with our students. Uh, there were a couple of words up here. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't think I know how to spell that word. <laughs> So I want you all to know I am very proud of all of you. And uh, our winners this evening, you deserve um, to be winners. And I feel like all of our students are winners because we must remember that they won 
at the school level, and that's how they ended up here. And uh, we definitely hope that we'll have another regional winner this year once we go to Francis Marion. And uh, if you've never been to the regional spelling bee, please try to come. It's, it's an exciting evening as well. And so at this time, I'm going to ask Ms. Anderson to come back up. Oh, it was just brought to my attention that we don't actually know who our third and fourth place winners are. Oh, they went out on the same round, which is oh. why I'm thankful to have a round good, of good. here and judges. So, if I may, I will take the mic again and we will, we will um, break the tie.
Okay. Representing the eighth grade and Glenham, our runner up second place winner okay. tonight is Hadea Atkinson. Parents, 
We're going to take a couple of group pictures. Thank you. Feel free to come up and take a picture as well. Um, as students, you probably want to make sure that you're holding your plaques and holding your trophies up where they can be seen because we're going to put this in the paper, your picture, so you want to make sure it goes the right direction. 